Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to show you how to add a blog post to your Astra theme. It's real simple. We're going to show you how to navigate a dashboard, how to add your content, format it with a block editor, preview, and finally, publish your post. So here's our brand new blogging site, and we've got some old posts and some, some of the stock posts over here. So let's head over to our dashboard real quick and click on uh, hover over posts here on our left sidebar and click on add new post. Now that takes us to the block editor over here and real quick we have the block inserter and we can insert images, galleries, a heading over here. Okay, and we can call it heading one. And let's name this blog post. Okay, and usually this becomes the title over here, but we can hide that. And automatically our heading over here becomes the title. So we can format all of our text, whether it's a heading or a paragraph. If we insert and drag and drop it right there by hovering over the text or highlighting it and we can align its center. And over here I can just copy paste my article that I have already pre-made and as you can see if it's already been separated by the enter key as paragraphs in your text editor it automatically separates them into separate paragraph blocks. So if you wanted to reorganize your train of thought you can either move move up the paragraphs, move them up or down, or drag and drop them. Let's say I wanted my conclusion to be my introduction, and so on. Okay, and likewise, we can also align the text. And we can change the text color, and the text background, if we wanted to highlight certain ideas, or change the mood. But let's change it back to default colors. Okay. And we can change the size of the text and how big the padding and margins are. So let's move on. Okay, so let's add an image to our post. So click up here on the block inserter. We can scroll down and find an image. Now we can either click on that or hover over where we want our images. So let's click on that and click on our media library. As I've already uploaded a photo, it's easy. Just click on that. And if you wanted to, you can crop it or add a caption. Sorry. Okay. And we can change the alignment like that. Alternatively, we can crop it and we can change the form to that and probably, yeah, sure. And probably make it a bit smaller. Okay, that's great. Next, let's add a featured photo. So on our post here, it gives us all of the overarching uh, configurations. So visibility is at the public. We can hide it or put it behind a password. We can set the schedule when we want to upload it. If we want to put this at the top of our blog or hold a free review, review excuse me, if we want our other contributors to take a look at it before we post it. And we can change what kind of post it is and change the author okay now let's add some categories to help our readers find our articles or blogs so click on travel and let's add some new tags like right and let's add a featured image and we got this one with the arch and that should be our cover photo. And 
this is for our post page. So this featured image acts as our cover photo for here. But if we were to enable this, it would appear only here. And if you clicked on that, it wouldn't appear on our side over here. So let's save the draft real quick. And let's take a look at the preview. And here on our preview, we can see the picture of the arch as our featured image. And as we scroll down, we have the picture of the Ozarks and our body text. Okay. Now that we're happy with how that looks, I think, let's click on publish immediately. And when that's done loading, we can click on view post or we can go back to our homepage that we just made in the previous video and click on posts. And our new blog post about Missouri is here. Click on read more. And this is the live page. If we were to visit this, this, would, this is what would appear. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.